What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Um, so uh, I want to stress this out with this video. Please, if you own the G Stylo, please watch this video from beginning to end and get all the information I'm about to share with you guys right now. Uh, let me just start off by saying that I did read everyone's comment who's posted about them, you know, rooting the LG G Stylo and it being stuck on the boot animation. I did um, edit the description of the video, and I would hope that you guys read the description of the videos. In any video, not just mine, but in anyone's video that you watch, I hope you guys read the descriptions because it gives extra details that has to do with the content you're watching. Uh, but anyways, I changed it up there to let everyone know that if you if you have accepted the most recent system update, to not attempt to root your phone. The reason for that is, is that the newer update, the system update that has been going out, has been pushed out to the G-Stylo, uh, while it does fix notification issues that the phone has had, and it um, it flashes in a new radio, which is basically the you know the antenna connectivity to LTE and um, gives you better LTE signal. It also does block the root exploit that was uh, found in the phone right off the bat when it first came out, and um, so if you try to attempt to root it uh, once you sever the root patch that the phone has, basically yeah your phone's gonna be stuck in a boot loop, um, which is a, basically called a soft brick. So now, of course, if you try to send it in to LG to have it repaired, they're going to hook it up and check to see if it's rooted. And if it is rooted, basically it's at your fault and they will charge you to repair the phone. So uh, options you can do. Well, I don't know exactly how much LG would charge you to basically reflash the phone. Um, but if it's about the same price as it would to buy the phone out, you might as well just buy another one. At this time, there's still no torp recovery for the Boost Mobile version of the G-Stylo. There is one for Metro PCS. Now, if you're stuck in a boot loop, yes, I'm pretty sure you probably like scoured Google and you probably found like all you need, need to do is just reflash the stock firmware. And yes, LG usually releases what is called a KDZ file, which is the firmware for a device. And all you gotta do is just look for the KDZ firmware for the G-Stylo on Boost Mobile and flash it with the LG Flash Tool. Problem with that is, is that uh, one of the users on Android forums who's also active on XDA developers has made contact with LG and they gave him the runaround about it and basically had told him that there's no plans of ever releasing the KDZ file for the G-Stylo. But let's not take that in as, you know, as ink on paper because sometimes things change, who knows. Uh, but for right now, there is no KDZ file, so there's no way of flashing your phone back to stock. And of course, we don't have torp recovery, so we can't build like you know we can't take the system update and be able to flash it through um, um, custom recovery because we don't have one. So if you own the G Stylo on Boost Mobile, you're pretty much SOL at this point. All you could do now is just wait for developers to actually develop torp recovery for our G Stylo, or hope that the the stock firmware is released by LG so um, yeah it's it's a uh, it, it's tough breaks I mean <sighs> pretty much sucks um, I rooted my device before the system update came out and so that's kind of the reason why you know like I was able to get mine rooted obviously and um, I'm not having any issues right now However, I cannot update my phone and for those who did root before the system update was pushed out and they're like, how do we update our phones or whatever? The reason why you can't is because while LG, how some people have an opinion that LG has kind of adopted things from Samsung, like the previous um, Optimus launcher that kind of looked like TouchWiz, they also adopted what, Sam what Samsung has, which is uh, what's called Knox. Now on LG, it's not called Knox, but basically it's a file that once you root your device, uh, it severs the file and you cannot ever uh, reset that file back to the way it was, like a factory reset. Even if you factory reset your device, it does not fix that file. So once you root, just think of it like, like a bridge. And once you root, you sever that bridge. You cannot repair the bridge. And when the update goes through, what a system update does is when it first begins to install, what it does is it goes through your system files and makes sure that all the system files that's needed is there. And it makes sure that it's bondable to accept the new update files. Now, that one bridge I'm telling you about, that file that is broken when you root, once that's broken, while it's going through the system files to make sure that it is able to flash over, 
it finds that one file that's broken and it automatically error rejects. So that's the reason why no matter what you do, if you unroot, if you put back all the bloatware, it will not update. So I just wanted to make this video real quick for you guys um, and explain as much as I can really quick. So I do apologize for those out there that are stuck with the soft brick device. But like I said, you can send it to LG, but they will charge you to repair it or reflash it um, because you did root the device. And um, yeah, so it's out of that or bas basically buy another G-Stylo or pick another device or something. I don't know. Um, hopefully, LG will release a stock firmware. I'm really hoping that they will. They did release the stock uh, KDZ file for the Metro PCS and T-Mobile version, so I think it's a little unfair they won't do it for the Sprint and Boost Mobile. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. That's just what I want to let you guys know in a nutshell. So if you found this video informative, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And share this across your social network. Let other people that have the same problem with, this, with the G-Stylo, let them know what's, what's kind of going on. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.